Hey there, Joel here and welcome to my channel Math World. Today we're going to solve another problem based on quadratic equation. And that is, a cottage industry produces a certain number of toys in a day. The cost of production of each toy was found to be 55 minus the number of toys produced on a particular day. The cost of production for a day is rupees 750. Find the number of toys produced in a day. So here is a toy that is produced and imagine that you know in the morning when the machine starts when all the raw materials are fed into the machine and what you can see is at the end result is the conveyor belt rolling and at every ignore the sound okay at every uh, roll that is happening one toy is you know shipped out from the machine so imagine this now here we don't know how many toys are being shipped out which means that's the reason let us say that t be the number of toys produced now the cost of production of each toy how much money is required to make that one toy is nothing but 55 minus the number of toys produced on that day okay so that would become therefore the cost of each toy is 55 minus say for example if i was told that you know 10 toys are produced then the cost of each toy will be 55 minus 10 that is equal to 45 now in this case i don't know how many number of toys right so that's the reason i write it as 55 minus t okay next part we are told that the cost of production for a day is rupees 750 that is you know if that machine was to run for one day then i would require around 750 not around exactly 750 rupees to make those toys okay now how many so that depends on two factors the number of toys produced and the cost of each toy right so if i was told that you know like just what i've told you 45 rupees as one of the cost of the toy then 45 minus or multiplied by 10 okay 10 um, 10 toys produced right so 45 multiplied by 10 would give me around 450 so in this case we are told it is 750 right so all i have done is taken the number of toys and multiplied it with the cost of each toy which will give me the total cost so t multiplied by 55 minus t is equal to 750 so this would become 55 t minus t square and 750 from the right hand side is brought on the other side so changes the sign and becomes minus 750 so all i have to do now is rearrange those terms and solve that quadratic equation so whatever the answer might be in the end i will get after solving by either of the met three methods i will get it as t is equal to this or t is equal to that so if at all the number is negative you need to say ignore it because price cannot be negative so you have to consider the positive number i hope this part is clear if if there is any doubt and you have not understood then i would request you please rewind the video watch it again because the word problems tend to get a little bit more you know heavy on in your mind so take time read it again watch it try solving it and i'm sure you'll be able to understand let's solve another problem and here we go Rohan's father is 26 years older than Rohan. The product of their ages, 3 years from now, is 360. Find their present ages. Okay. 
Rohan's father and Rohan. Okay, so here let R be Rohan's age. Now, if Rohan is, age is R, then father is 26 years older, right? So, therefore, father's age will become R plus 26. We are also told that the product of their ages, that means I multiply, product means multiply. So Rohan's age multiplied by father's age when? Not in the present, but three years from now. That means in future, whatever their ages will be, I multiply that and I get my answer to be 360. So in that case, it would become Rohan present ages are three years hence or three years from now in the future it will become r plus three has grown three years more similarly father whose age was r plus 26 he is also growing three years more so it will become r plus 26 plus three and both these ages three years from now when i multiply i get my answer to be 360 so this would become r plus three multiplied by r plus 29 is equal to 360 you already know how to open a bracket and calculate further so this would become r into r will become r square r into 29 will become 29 r plus 3 r and plus 87 minus the 360 which is on the right hand side is brought on the other side so it becomes minus 360 calculate this and you get one quadratic equation now all you have to do is solve it by factorization quadratic formula or completing square and find out rohan's age and his father's age i hope this part problem was very easy to understand if you did then please go ahead and hit the like button and share the video with your friends subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss out any more updates this is joel saying bye Thank you and God bless. And please, please solve those problems. Do not just leave them there. Please solve it to get the final answer. And if you have solved them, you can, you're free to, you know, comment the answer in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.